The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy, thinks he may take Mrs. McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. <laughs> Look, I think the new bathroom was all right. Yeah, it's just what we needed. Grandpa, I see it, but I don't believe it. Look at that. It walks like little Luke. It looks like little Luke. But with a girl, it can't be little Luke. Well, it's him, all right. And why not? Boy's growing up. It's only normal that he should get himself a girl. But when it comes to girls... All us McCoys is more normal than most boys. Oh, wait till Kate hears about this. Kate! Hmm? Kate! I'm here. Kate, little Luke's walking with a girl. How about that? Oh, yes, I know. It must be Susie Nelson. She lives down the road. Well, it looks like we can throw away his stamp collection. <laughs> little Luke's got himself a new hobby. <laughs> now, now, don't you two get started on him. He's having enough trouble the way it is. Trouble? What trouble? Well, it seems they're having a dance at school, Grandpa, and I think little Luke's trying to get up enough nerve to ask her. Get up enough nerve? Well, if a boy's going to ask a girl to a dance, he just ups and asks her. Oh, now, Grandpa, he's shy. Most boys are with girls in the beginning. Oh, what are you talking about, Kate? There ain't never been a McCoy that was girl shy. Shh. They're coming up on the porch. I sure am glad we moved down the road from you, Luke. Maybe we can walk home together some other time, too. Gee, I, I think your place is a little bigger than ours. We just grow a few things, but it looks like you have a regular farm here. Now you know why he nasty yet. She's just like all women. He can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. I've been talking so much, I didn't even realize where I was walking. Here we are, right at your front porch. Yeah, well, would you like to sit down a while? Uh-huh. Thank you. Susie, there's something I'd like to ask you. What's that, Luke? There. I know he'd asked her when he was ready. Well, you know there's going to be a... Uh, what I mean to say is... You know, what I wanted to ask you was... Uh, um, what'd you get on your history test? I guess he ain't ready yet, Grandpa. I got a 92. He just want to be sure he's going out with a smart girl. <laughs> Susie, there is something else I want to ask you. What's that? Well, I'd like to know if you'd like to... Yes? Yeah? I'd like to know if you'd like yeah? to... Yes? Uh, nothing. <laughs> this might take all day. <laughs> Well, I... I guess I'd better be getting home. Yeah, I, uh, guess so. There wasn't anything else you wanted to ask me, was there? Well, uh... Uh... I, uh, guess not. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. It's just pitiful. The McCoy standing in front of a girl, tongue-tied. Grandpa, he'll ask her. It'll just take a little time. Time? The time he gets nerve to ask her why she'll be busy babysitting with the grandchildren. Well, Grandpa, maybe you were shy with girls at his age, too. Me? Shy? <laughs> why, I was a, a regular tiger with the girlies. When they see me coming, they, they know they didn't have a chance. They just used to freeze in the tracks and pucker up. Well, little Luke just happens to be different, that's all. Well, we got to help him, Luke. Oh, I don't know, Grandpa. Maybe he'll snap out of it just like that. No, no, not a chance. we got to build up confidence in the boy. Well, fine, but how? Well, we'll think of something. We just got that. <laughs> Now we gotta 
do a good job, so turn it on big. <laughs> say, you're really pitching them horseshoes good today. <laughs> Did you see that form? <laughs> yes, sir. Look, look. You just feel that muscle. Oh. Whoop! That's real bulger there. <laughs> You really think it's getting big? Yeah, well, if it gets any bigger, you'll be pitching them horseshoes while you're still on the horse. <laughs> look, look at the boys. Actually getting good looking, ain't he? Oh, more than that, Grandpa. What? He's downright handsome. Me? <laughs> you know, I really think he's come to him. It, huh? Grandpa, you're right. Yes, sir. I believe he's got it. Got what? Come right over here, son. Now you just sit yourself down right there. Now, I don't rightly know just how long this has been going on, but as far back as I can remember, all the men of the McCoy clan has always had a, a, a big appeal for women. Yeah, that's the gospel. I'll tell you, whenever you've seen one of us McCoy men, you always seen women buzzing and flittering around like fleas on a wet dog. <laughs> yes, sir, looking at this for a fine example, too. <laughs> <laughs> but some of us is slow to come around. But sometimes, like with you, this thing just hits overnight. What hits overnight? Well, it, it's a sort of a... Uh, 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 uh. How'd you explain it, Luke? Uh, well, it's a... Uh, <laughs> tell you the truth, Grandpa, I never tried to explain it. I just enjoy it. <laughs> well, it ain't hard to explain. It's a sort of like a... Uh, well, you've seen a, a caterpillar, ain't you? Yeah. And you've seen how, how nobody never pays no attention to, to caterpillar because he's, he's skinny and stupid looking and, and he's always wiggling himself around? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What Grandpa means is that this caterpillar himself don't know how gorgeous he's going to be when he, when he shucks off his cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the first thing you know, he's this miserable-looking caterpillar. He's turned himself into a great, big, beautiful, breathtaking butterfly. That's how it is with us McCoy menfolk. <laughs> Can't you kind of feel this new power deep down inside you? Yeah, yeah I think I can. <laughs> There's just one thing. What's that? Well... Do you think the girls will know I shucked off my cocoon? <laughs> Why, of course they will. They just can't help the sips. I wish I was sure. Brooke, that boy's stubborn. Yeah, he still ain't 100% sold. We're going to need our sips to clinch you. You say, didn't Hassie say she had a couple of girls coming up the house this afternoon? Yeah, I believe she did. And I think I see where you're headed. <laughs> Will you get that? I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Hi, little Luke. Oh, hi, Sally. Well, I sure can't call you little Luke anymore, the way you've grown. Well, I bet you put on two inches since I last saw you. Well, you just saw me yesterday. Well, I guess you're the age now where you just seem to sprout up overnight. Well, you're almost as tall as I am. I am? Turn around. Show you. By gosh, I am. Oh, hi, Sally. Hassie. Do you know this brother of yours is as tall as I am? Really? Yep, we just measured. Well, I guess I just didn't realize how you're growing being around you all the time. But it figures all the McCoy men are tall. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, hi, Dorothy. Come on in. Hi, Hassie. Sally. Oh. I didn't know any fellas were going to be here. <laughs> fellas? It's just me. Why, little Luke, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Probably because he's grown so much. Oh, I don't think it's that exactly. It's just that, well, he's beginning to look so mature and, and handsome. <laughs> Noticed it, huh? You guys start carrying a club around with you to chase off all the girls. Huh? Who's the lucky girl you're taking to the school dance? Oh, I don't think I'm going to go to the school dance. Not going? Oh, I'll bet a lot of girls are going to be heartbroken. They are? <laughs> I 
I can sure see why your brother's so popular, Hattie. He's getting more handsome all the time. If he were a little older, or if I were a little younger, I'd sure go for him. <laughs> says you can't use aftershave lotion before you shave. Three years before? <laughs> well, I'm on my way. How do I look? Fine, just like a regular dude. Except for the collar. You didn't iron it right. Well, I don't see anything wrong with it. Can't you see? Look at it. It's all messed up around the points. Boy, just wants to be neat, that's all. So Ain't that my tie you're wearing? Yeah. Well, now look, if you're gonna be one of them fancy Dan's, ain't you got no ties of your own? Not this color. It brings out the blue of my eyes. <laughs> oh, for gosh sakes. Well, now look, the least you could have done is ask me for it. Well, I don't have to ask you for everything. Well, I'm 14 years old. <laughs> this is just dandy. <laughs> Boy's oh, growing up. You gotta remember that. Growing up a little too fast to suit me. Oh, will you stop picking on me? And what are you doing now? I'm taking 50 cents out of the cookie jar. I gotta buy a ticket to the school dance. School dance? It's the first I hear to that. <laughs> Who are you picking on taking, little Luke? Oh, I think I'll give Susie Nelson a break. She's a good kid. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs> Well, looks like we've done it. We'll give him the cure. Looks to me like the cure turned out to be worse than the disease. He acts just a little too big for his britches. Well, now, what's ain't that you two? Grandpa, that ain't the same boy. He's changed. Of course he's changed. He's a man. He's feeling his oats. The boy's got confidence in himself. I say he got obnoxious. Yeah, he's got that, too. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Ruth. Hi. Hi. Didn't I see you walking home with Susie Nelson last Friday? Could be. Is she your girlfriend, Luke? Could be. You're jealous, aren't you? <laughs> jealous. Oh, it's okay. I understand. Huh? Don't take it too hard. A couple of cute little dolls like you shouldn't have any trouble finding boyfriends. <laughs> oh, hi, Susie. Be right there. I'm walking you home. Okay. Here, hold these a minute. You want to feel my muscle? <laughs> yes. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> that Ruth's a kook. Come on, doll, let's go. <laughs> Down the road. Oh, he's good. He ain't a pussy putting around this time. He's walking real proud with his head held high. Well, oh, with his head so big now, I'm surprised he can lift it. <laughs> Will you hold these? <laughs> Look at that. He's got her carrying his books now. I'm surprised he hasn't got her carrying him. <laughs> you can be real proud of that boy. I built him into a real McCoy. Well, like I was saying, I think I'll go out for a little baseball and football this year. A little basketball, too. You know, they need us tall, muscular guys on the team. You know how I got this muscle? Combing your hair. No. Pitching horseshoes. 
Here, I'll let you watch me pitch a little horseshoe. I have to be going home. But you don't you want to see my muscle bulge when I pitch him? <laughs> He's nothing shy about him now. <laughs> He's giving up both barrels. That's the way I used to handle them. <laughs> I've really got to go. Before you go, I got a big surprise for you. Surprise? Yep. You know the school dance? Well, I could have asked any girl I wanted. But I decided to take you. Well, I've got a surprise for you. You're not taking me to the school dance. I'm not? <laughs> she played hard to get. You're going with somebody else? All I know is I'm not going with you. Uh, she's playing so hard to get, she ain't going to get got. <laughs> So she refused you. Grandpa, you can't blame her the way he asked her. What are you talking about? She should have been happy he asked her. She didn't even have a good reason. Where, where are you going? I'm going to have a talk with that little girl. Grandpa, don't you think you've done enough already? Hey, little girl, Susie. Yes, Mr. McCoy? I happen to hear you talking to little Luke, and I hear him ask you to go to the dance with him. Why aren't you going? He didn't ask me. He told me. He's a good boy. Comes a good stock. And he's a good dancer. I know. And he's tall and he's handsome and he's got big muscles, too. Oh, you noticed that, did you? You have to notice it. He, he told me all about it. He's gotten to be the most conceited boy in the whole school, bragging and showing off. Well, he's got a lot to brag about. I used to like him a lot, and, and I wanted him to take me to the dance. You did? But... I don't know what's happened to him. It seems like somebody terrible got hold of him and changed him. Somebody terrible? Yes, and the way he is now, I don't want to ever see him again. You know, Mr. McCoy, if I were you, I'd find out who he's been keeping company with. Somebody terrible. What'd she say, Grandpa? Pretty ashamed of me, huh, Grandpa? Ashamed of you? Well, yeah, because I'm not like the rest of the McCoys. You know that special appeal we're supposed to have with women? Well, I thought I had it for a while, but I guess I lost it. You ain't lost nothing, boy. It's me I'm ashamed of. That little girl wasn't turning you down. It was me she was turning down. You? Yeah, all that smart aleck talk you was giving her, the, that was stuff that I put in your mind. Oh, you're just trying to make me feel better. No, it ain't so. It was all right like I got a hold of you. Well, what about all them special qualities us McCoys are supposed to have with women? Well, all them things I said ain't, ain't quite so. You mean we really don't have them? Well, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, because women likes us McCoys just like anybody else, but I think they likes us best when we ain't pretending to be something we ain't. And I was wrong when I tried to change you. Well, I sure wasn't getting nowhere the way I was before. Now, that's why you was wrong. But Susie said she liked you then. She was real took with you. She said that? Yes, sir. I had a talk with her, and, 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 and I drug it out of her. <laughs> I don't get it. I didn't even have nerve enough to ask her to the school dance. Well, let me tell you something, son. The same thing happened to me when I first met your grandma. Yeah, I don't know how long it was before I could get up enough gumption to ask you to go out. Honest? Well, how'd you finally do it? Well, yeah, I don't rightly recall. I guess I wanted to go out with her so hard that the words finally come out by the shafts. <laughs> Same way it's going to come out with you and Susie. Gee. Well, yeah, I hope this little talk has sort of cleared things up for you. 
Well, it sure has, Grandpa. Thanks a lot. And you going to know how to handle Susie from here on? Yep. I'm just going to go back to being naturally charming like I was before. <laughs> Susie? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Just hello. Hello and goodbye. Well, is it all right if I walk with you? We live in a democracy. You can walk anywhere you like. Susie, there's something I'd like to ask you. Well, the answer is no. I'm not interested in feeling your muscles. It wasn't that. And I don't want your autograph. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just... And I'm not as big and strong as you are, so I haven't got the strength to carry your books while you comb your hair, kooky. <laughs> the horse is a minute. In the first place, I threw my comb away. In the second place, all I wanted was a chance to say I was sorry for acting so dopey. And in the third place, if we live in such a democracy, why don't you give a fellow a chance to apologize in the first place? Apology accepted. Carry your books? Well, boys come of age. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like all they say, Luke, if anybody in the family has a problem, all they got to do is be honest and straight from the shoulder and bring it to Grandpa. Guess <laughs> why I can't help them. 